Hello, my name is Stefan Donauer. I'm product manager for Panda Südmo. And with this video, I'd like to show how easy it is to maintain the RV solid check valve. I have brought the all three versions with me. We have the weld end version, we have the clamp version, and we have the sandwich style version. Now we will focus on the sandwich style version because I can everything I can show uh, is within here. So I put them to the side. What I have already done is loosening the screws because it's just boring and takes long, but you will know, okay, 13 mil wrench, that's easy to do. So take that away, then the screws away. Then, so imagine the flanges itself, they are welded in the pipe work. So uh, with the sandwich style, you can just pull out the valve to the side. So we put that away. And then you can put the valve on the workbench and everything you can do in regards of seals and so on is within here. Okay, then let's start. Yeah, what do we need? We need tools. As you can see, there are not many. Uh, we have a seal kit. Uh, if you ask yourself, how shall I find the right seal kit? Um, just check the marking on the valve. There is a laser etching and the number of the seal kit is etched in here and as well as shown on the seal kit itself. So yeah, then let's start. So we take the 70 mil wrench, open that here. Yep, fast and easy. Put that to the side. So yeah, it helps when we put everything side by side so we don't get, get confused. So the upper part of the housing then the inside guide, the spring, the disc, and then the lower part of the housing. We have an O-ring here itself. So then let's check what's inside the seal kit. So for those who haven't that done so often, check out the description. You will see where uh, which seals go to. We put that to the side. And then let's see what's else in here. We have um, lubricant, that's very important, especially when you're working with EPDM seals. Um, please take that one and no mineral-based lubricants because that would swell the seals. Then, yeah, before we pull out anything, I will check if everything is there. So we have two, these two seals for the housing. We have those two for the guide and then one for the disc and then we exchange right away the spring. So put that to the side. Take that first. For that we need that tool. And here I need to be serious. So this does not just look like a weapon that can really be a weapon. It's sharp and long. So um, it really helps getting the seals away. But um, make sure uh, you don't work against your body or uh, your fingers are in the way and make sure nobody is in your workspace um, around this area. And then, yeah, push right in the middle, pull up, and then you can easily put it out. So, yeah, we already put that one in. Then this is done. We take the guide. Uh, when you take your fingernails in here and push to the front, you will also easily get the seal fished out. Here as well, easy. Uh, you don't need any lubricant at this point. Yeah, for sure, make sure everything is clean on the surface, uh, but no lubricant required here. So then we take the disc, then yeah, we need our weapon again. So again, make sure you don't pierce your fingers. Go in here, straight down and then to the front. So break the seal. Make sure you're not hitting the metal parts. So, and if that does not work for the first time, uh, don't get stressed, try it another one. And so, so you get it out easy and clean as you see. Then for the seal, take the lubricant out of the uh, bag or from a, yeah, another container. A little bit lubricant here and then 
uh, rub it in. So just make sure there's no fat depot inside the groove here because that would pop the seal out. Uh, you definitely don't want that. Then lay it on. Use a workbench uh, with a plastic support. Do not work on wood or stainless steel plates. Um, then press it in on four sides and then so roll the rest in. Make sure this uh, is a uniform mounted because that will help to seal the valve correctly. So make sure there's uh, no nose uh, showing out or something like that. Uniform mounting is the key here. Then, yeah, the last one, so it's the same as here. We pierce again right in the middle, pull it up, then we have it in our hands. So nice and easy. Another one, and then we right stay at this part. So when you do it that order, it turned out to be as easiest. Take the disc, uh, make sure there's a little bit of the lubricant here at the shaft. In here, don't forget the spring. Then lubricant on the inside hole here, guiding the disc is also necessary. Then push it down. It's not popping, uh, popping out again, so that makes it very easy. And then when you have the small flange version, sandwich style, uh, make sure it's correct orientated. And uh, when you have a look, you'll see a um, laser etched arrow on both sides, bring them together. Yeah, on the other versions, that's not necessary. Just here for the orientation of the flanges. Then the last step, the clamp. Yeah. Make sure you're not over tightening the clamp. So take our torque meter. Eight Newton meter is the, is the set torque. And then, yeah, you will notice a click as soon as you have reached the correct torque. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's it. And then, yeah, you can carry away the valve uh, back to the pipework, flanges up and down, the screws. Yeah, so you will believe me that I could do it. But that's just long and boring. So yeah, that's about maintenance. So if you have any questions left, do not hesitate to get in contact with our sales team or our service team. And if you are searching for more information, check out the website or check out our YouTube channel. You will find more information about the RV solid check valve range, uh, but also information about other products. So therefore, thank you very much for the attention and see you next time.